everybody. Thanks for coming to watch the show. I've got another Lego review for you here. Today we're going to be talking about Major Von Reg's TIE Fighter. This is a pretty recent set that just got released. Uh, it's 496 pieces and the price was originally uh, $69.99, uh, but they dropped that pretty quickly and now you can pick it up most stores and on Amazon for about $55 or $56. So. Uh, it's not a bad price for the amount of pieces you get. Still a little bit higher than I would like. I'd, I'd like to see this go down to like a flat 50, maybe 45, but uh, it'll probably be around the time it gets discontinued before you see stuff like that. But uh, it's a really nice looking set. I mean, I, it's very striking, just the uh, the red color scheme. Obviously, we've never seen a TIE Fighter this color. So even if you have the other TIE Fighter sets, this one is definitely a draw. And uh, I've never watched Resistance, but that's what this set is uh, based on. I guess Major Von Reg is a character in that show. But uh, either way, it's still a really cool looking ship. And I just uh, I saw it announced a few months ago and I had to get it, just even though I've never seen the, the uh, show. But uh, I really like the way this set came together. Uh, red is obviously a pretty big theme throughout the sequel trilogy. You know, we got the Praetorian Guards and... Uh, Snoke's throne room and then the recently announced uh, Sith Trooper. I don't know if you guys have seen that but it's basically just a first order stormtrooper with uh, like a T visor helmet and he's just all red. So it's a very big theme throughout this trilogy and I, I really like uh, this particular uh, continuation of that theme. So let's get into a couple of the uh, cool features on here. If you've built any other um, TIE Fighter sets, then you're going to be pretty familiar with this uh, as far as the basics, except for the wings. The design on this is pretty much the same on any other TIE Fighter. The middle part there is a little bit different in the back. You can see it's kind of designed a little bit different than ones I've built, but you still have your standard um, launcher right here, and that sets off the two uh, laser uh, spring-loaded things in the front, which I don't have those loaded, so I won't shoot myself right now. One complaint I have with those and every other uh, TIE Fighter set is that LEGO makes them in this green color, but for some reason they never want to include that with the TIE Fighter, even though it shoots green lasers. So I would really like to see that. That would be pretty cool if they would include that. I've only ever seen one of these. This is the only one I've ever seen in this color. So I don't know if that's kind of rare or more expensive to make or what, but it would be really cool if they would include that. But still, it you know, it functions fine and it's uh, still a little bit better than like a stud shooter or a flick missile or something like that. So um, the middle part, like I said, pretty much the same as the any other normal TIE Fighter. I like um, in here, you can see is kind of this is supposed to be like on the box it shows lasers coming out of there those are kind of neat and then on the tips of every wing you have these little swivel cannon things right here and they can kind of move a little bit but you don't really want them to you just want them to stay straight so it looks like it's not going to shoot off in all directions but uh, i really like the design of the wings especially the angled pieces. I really like how that kind of creates a design, a little bit of pattern on there. And uh, I don't know why they didn't just call this a TIE Interceptor. If you're familiar with any of the uh, like original trilogy Lego sets, they always, they would have, they had TIE Fighters shaped like this and they were called TIE Interceptors. I mean, if you've played like Battlefront 2 or any other uh, Star Wars game where you could fly uh, spaceships, they always had these and they just called them TIE Interceptors. But I guess First Order calls them just TIE Fighters, but either way, still pretty cool. So if you've watched any of my other reviews on LEGO sets, you know that I really don't like stickers because I always seem to mess up putting them on there, and I'm happy to report this set does not have any stickers at all. This on both sides is a printed piece, as well as this part on the top, which I'm really surprised because that looks like it would it would be a sticker and I know I would have messed that up if I had tried to put it on there but and then obviously the um, actual cockpit uh, piece right there is printed as well so if you open it up here pretty let me move these out real quick 
pretty standard in there. You just have this little piece that swivels in and holds your guy down. Uh, there's nothing that actually your character or your, your fig rather will actually connect to down in there. It's just flat. So he just kind of rattles around unless you really put that piece down on there. I've never, I've not had any issues with that, but you know, if you're going to be throwing it across the room or something, he might fall out. <laughs> but if you throw this across the room, that's probably the least of your worries. But uh, other than that, it's pretty standard TIE Fighter set, although this is definitely my favorite uh, TIE Fighter that I've seen, and I'm definitely really happy with it. So that's pretty much it for the actual ship. So let's move on to the minifigs. Okay, so our first one we're going to look at here is Kaz Ziono, I believe his name is. I'll just I'll let you look at it here on the box. Kaz Ziono, I think his name is, either way. But he's pretty neat looking. Uh, like I said, I don't I don't know what resistance really is, but I'm pretty sure this is like the main character from that. And he's he's pretty unique looking, kind of a cool haircut there and uh, I really like his kind of trench coat thing that he's got going on that's a really nice print there and very striking just like with the TIE Fighter this bright green uh, it's a really unique um, color that you don't really see a whole lot of so I'll switch out his head you can see uh, he has two different expressions there kind of battle ready and then you know just kind of smug kind of Han Solo vibe with that so that's Kaz. Next one we got here is General Leia. This is uh, Leia as she appears in, um, I believe she has this outfit on in The Force Awakens or something really similar to it. So I'm glad to have this. I never really got any Force Awakens sets. I wasn't into uh, collecting back then when they released. So it's cool to have this. Uh, I just need to get some of the other characters from there, but she uh, she looks pretty nice. Uh, again, a really nice uh, color there, cool um, combination with the purple and the uh, kind of mint green there. That's always a really unique color to see. You don't see this this uh, color a uh, whole lot. She also has two different faces. She has that just kind of calm and collected face, and then she has this one where she's smiling and happy to see whoever it is you I guess next up we have bucket or r1j5 this is a cool little astromech droid I really like his uh, unique head and the middle leg there is, is pretty different and we've never seen anything like that and he's got a pretty cool uh, torso print as well but he also came with this um, flight helmet that you can stick on there and that's kind of like his cute little quirk or defining trait I guess but it's hard for me to really uh, say whether or not you know he's a good character because I've never watched the show but I do like the minifig and it's always cool to have some more droids and it's really nice to not just have another R2 or something similar like that because if you buy any number of Star Wars sets you usually end up with like five or six R2s and a bunch of Chewbacca's and stuff like that so there's definitely characters that get overused and so I'm glad that there's a different one in this case so bucket cute little astromech droid there and then the main event here is major von reg himself so a really cool unique and i believe exclusive to this set minifig uh, i don't think he comes in anything else as of yet it um, depends on if they release any more resistance sets i suppose but uh, it'll probably be exclusive to this set and that was another reason that I really wanted to get this, just because I like having those kind of uh, harder to find or unique minifigs. And uh, this one is really cool. I mean, we've never seen a uh, trooper that's all in red like this. And he has some really good uh, detail on his torso. You know, you can see the kind of uh, flight uh, suit chest piece there that's pretty uh, similar to other uh, TIE Fighter chest pieces, but I like that uh, printing on there and some good detail as well on just like the lines of his suit underneath the armor there and then his back piece as, as well is really good detail and uh, just over overall a really good looking fig um, and I really like his helmet I thought when I saw it that maybe this black piece here would slide forward and kind of go like a blast shield over his uh, face mask there but it actually doesn't so I guess it's just for looks but either way it's a really neat looking uh, fig there 
And um, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, Sith Trooper that was announced for The Rise of Skywalker kind of looks similar to this, so I wonder if maybe when that movie comes out we'll find out that Sith Troopers and Major Von Reg are kind of in the same unit or something like that, because we've never seen Red Troopers, and then we got this guy and the Sith Troopers showing up, so it could be related, could not be. But you're not here for me to speculate about The Rise of Skywalker, but that's just my thoughts. So that's going to do it for this review. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you were kind of on the fence about this, uh, just wondering if it was any different than a regular TIE fighter, I hope I kind of helped to sway you or help you make up your mind a little bit. But I would definitely recommend this um, if you're into just the, the color, which is basically all that, that really drew me to it. Because like I've mentioned several times, I don't have any connection to the show, so it wasn't something like that. But I just really, really like the red color on this thing. And uh, so if you just want another cool set to add to your collection, it's uh, at a decent price right now. But I'm sure it'll drop again um, in the next couple of months or so. Um, so if you're just looking for something maybe more on sale, you know, you may wait towards more of the holidays or something like that. But if you just want to jump in now, it did go down already once. Like I mentioned in the beginning, you can pick it up for $55.99 on Amazon. And uh, I believe you can get it at like Walmart or maybe Target for $56.99. So pretty decent price there. Um, if you're interested in watching a stop motion um, video that I put together of me building this set, that is also on the channel and I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, the quality on it is a little bit fuzzy. I'm still getting the hang of this new app that I'm using to create it with. So I'll probably work on that for the next video, try to make it a little bit more crisp. But if you watched that already, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you coming to watch this one and we'll see you next time.